last week I asked you guys uh, what this is. And uh, a lot of great answers. It was pretty funny. Just a fun little thing to do. Uh, four people, as far as I know, just four of you guessed it. I think a couple more, but might have gotten close. But Michael Hoffman, Steve Kurtz, Nate Tam, and Tinny Korvalowski. I apologize if I, if I didn't pronounce that correct. You all guessed it right. You can see it in my uh, tool shop here. It's a paper towel holder. Goes on my uh, French cleat uh, tool rack. Let's get into the rack of the week. Okay. So here I need left English. You want to hit the top ball, the one or the ten. Split them would be nice. Not extremely hard to open up the pocket for that eight. Like that. Okay. Well, this is ideal. Just follow out here for the two. We got a rebreak. Just don't like using any follow on this. I'm gonna draw the ball. And you have to get draw because otherwise you can get stuck in there. <laughs> okay. Now you wanna kinda pick these apart, but not really. And the, with my rack, both the four and the one are too close. So obviously I'm going to shoot the 10. From here I can shoot the 4, but I'm going to be running into balls and relying on luck. Maybe I shoot the 3. No, 3 doesn't go. Yeah, picking these apart would be too difficult. You're going to have to move. You're going to have to rearrange some furniture. You just have to. Okay, cross your fingers. All right, I have a shot. Hey, look, a ball came up for a break ball. I could use the seven as well, but I'm not going to. Okay, so now what? Uh, 12 is a block, pocket blocker. Mm -hmm. I don't want to come up for the 12, and then I can come back, come back, and get the ball in it either way. It's not ideal, but uh, hmm. no, that's not very ideal at all. Okay, let's use the one, one in the side, to get back inside of these balls. It's not ideal. I'm gonna have to bump the 15 down. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this can go wrong real easily, man. You gotta be, be just right. Okay, I'm gonna go, well, the 7-11, 7-15 are kind of tied. I can get the seven. Should I do the seven now? Ooh, where's the cue ball gonna go? I can shoot the seven, it's probably gonna bump the 15 up and I'll have the six next. I think that's a risk. I'm not gonna do it. If I can do that now, I can do it later. Let's get on the 11. Okay, now I can shoot the 11. Move the 15, I'll have the 6 at the very worst. Okay. 
Okay, now what? Key ball. You know, or maybe I'll should break the rack with the 15 now. Let's see. I mean, it's a very low break block, but I like those. It's okay. So what's my key ball? Yeah, I like the 15 from over here. So the question is, do I want to get that 14 now or use it as a key ball? I'm going to have to use it as a key ball. So let's go 736, I think. Yeah, because then with the six, I can, I can play my speed just one rail up to center table, something like that. stretched out yeah best I can do is like this and I'm going to be stretched out shooting that six if I follow forward I'm going to end up too straight but that's the right way to go now nah, I could shoot the six shoot the six stay low on the three then you come out center table Low on the three, I said. Okay. Let's get a good picture in the mind here. Past that line is no good. Stay far away. The closer you get to that 14, the more precise you have to be with your angle. So stay far from the 14. Now I can hold the cue ball. Right here is good. Right here is okay. Right. That'll work. Yeah, so this is a straight high ball. Cue ball is going to hit that two full. You need some speed on this. Get the cue ball clear. Or double kiss up table from a, from a rebounding ball. That happens a lot. Hey, fantastic situation. Um, Eight one five. You want to with the one. You want to come past, so you have a low angle on the five. Open those up. Ten in the side. Yeah. 